He is known for his major contributions to nuclear physics, astrophysics, quantum electrodynamics, and solid-state physics. He is recognized for winning the 1967 Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on the theory of stellar nucleosynthesis. His name is Hans Bethe. In the annals of scientific history, one name stands out as a legendary figure, Hans Albrecht Bethe, a German-American theoretical physicist whose contributions to multiple fields of science are truly remarkable. Born on July 2, 1906, Bethe's brilliance was evident from a young age. He made significant breakthroughs in nuclear physics, astrophysics, quantum electrodynamics, and solid-state physics, ultimately earning him the prestigious Nobel Prize in Physics in 1967 for his groundbreaking work on stellar nucleosynthesis. During World War II, Beta played a pivotal role as the head of the theoretical division at the top-secret Los Alamos laboratory. It was there that the first atomic bombs were developed, and Beta's expertise was crucial in calculating the critical mass of these weapons. He also played a key role in developing the theory behind the implosion method, which was used in both the Trinity test and the devastating, fat man, weapon dropped on Nagasaki in August 1945. Despite his involvement in the development of atomic weapons, Beta became a staunch advocate for peace and nuclear disarmament. He played an important role in the development of the hydrogen bomb, but his original intention was to prove that it could not be made. Beta later joined forces with Albert Einstein and the Emergency Committee of Atomic Scientists, campaigning against nuclear testing and the nuclear arms race. His efforts were instrumental in persuading the Kennedy and Nixon administrations to sign the Partial Nuclear Test Ban Treaty in 1963 and the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty in 1972. Throughout his illustrious career, Beta never stopped his scientific research. He continued publishing papers well into his 90s, making him one of the few scientists to have published major papers in his field during every decade of his nearly 70-year career. His problem-solving abilities were so renowned that his doctoral student, Freeman Dyson, referred to him as the supreme problem solver of the 20th century. Hans Albrecht Bethe's life and work serve as a testament to the incredible impact scientific inquiry can have on the world. From his groundbreaking discoveries to his unwavering commitment to peace, Bethe's legacy continues to inspire generations of scientists and reminds us of the profound responsibility that comes with wielding scientific knowledge. In the midst of World War II, Hans Bethe found himself eager to contribute to the war effort. However, due to his non-citizen status, he was initially unable to work on classified projects. Following the advice of Theodore von Karman, Beta collaborated with his friend Edward Teller on a theory of shock waves caused by the passage of a projectile through a gas. Despite its classification, Beta considered it one of their most influential papers. In December 1941, after receiving security clearance, Beta joined the MIT Radiation Laboratory. It was there that he invented the beta hole directional coupler, a crucial component used in microwave waveguides for radar sets. Beta's expertise soon caught the attention of Robert Oppenheimer, who invited him to participate in meetings discussing the design of the atomic bomb. They examined preliminary calculations and explored the use of uranium, 235 and plutonium. The urgency was driven by the belief that the Germans were also pursuing atomic weaponry. When Oppenheimer was tasked with forming the Los Alamos Laboratory, he appointed Beta as the director of the prestigious T Division. This decision caused some tension, particularly with Edward Teller and Felix Bloch, who also aspired to the position. Disagreements over research priorities led to Teller's group being removed from T Division and placed directly under Oppenheimer. Beta's work at Los Alamos focused on critical mass calculations, efficiency of uranium-235, and nuclear fission multiplication in an atomic bomb. As the laboratory underwent reorganization, Beta shifted his focus to studying the hydrodynamic aspects of the implosion of the plutonium bomb. He also contributed to the development of a formula, alongside Richard Feynman, for calculating the bomb's explosive yield. Beta's expertise proved invaluable during the Trinity nuclear test, which validated the accuracy of their calculations. Despite the success, Beta's primary concern was the bomb's efficient operation, rather than its moral implications. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.